Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. And today I've got another episode of The Search for Snacks. And I was searching for snacks in my grocery outlet. It's a like a kind of discount little market um, around here. I don't know if you guys have them near you. It's kind of bargain market and they tend to have different things and then sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. They kind of rotate their stock that comes in and they've got a little bit unusual items. And this was one I found in the frozen food aisle. They had a lot of different ones and I actually tried a different flavor before. And this one is a another one. This is by Hummus Pod. This is Sriracha Lime. And what they are is they're little pastry shells with this little hummus in there. And this one was spicy. I thought I would try this one. And it says for three pods is 150 calories, 200 milligrams of sodium. And if you want, you can see the information there. And it says to bake it for eight to 12 minutes is the preferred method, or you microwave it for 25 to 35, or you just thaw it out for 90 minutes. And it says, Crispy, chewy, multigrain shell, inside creamy, savory, seasoned hummus, inside, pow. <laughs> what it says on there. What makes hummus pods so good? It's hummus, the whole new way. Our pods are portable, the only one-handed hummus treat. Savory, packed with the bold, zesty seasonings. It's good. Wholesome, non-GMO, real food ingredients. That's always good. Better, good carbs, fats, protein, vegetarian. Easy. Pods are pre-baked. Just heat and serve warm or enjoy at room temperature. Crispy, chewy crust outside. Mmm. Creamy hummus inside. That's what it says in there. <laughs> and you can have it as an elegant appetizer on the go snack or a solid salad soulmate. Boy, I can't say that three times fast. Okay. So... That's what it is. I'm going to put it in a microwave. I'm going to put it in for probably about 20 seconds. I'm just going to do one because I don't want to know if I want to try three. They are kind of small. And yeah, and it's all vegan and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up just to show you what it looks like before I microwave it. And here it is. It comes in this little container and I'm going to go ahead and take one and I'm going to put it in a microwave. And I'll be back in 20 seconds. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. It only took 20 seconds. I let it go for about 25 and I just put it on a little paper towel. And here's the little pod when it comes out and I guess it split open a little bit. And you can see how it has the sriracha sauce, I guess, or powder or dusting. And I can certainly smell the lime when it came out of there and kind of the smoky hummus in the middle. And it's still a little bit hot. It kind of looks like a little ravioli or a turtle shell or <laughs> kind of does look like a turtle shell. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can smell that, the lime and then that sriracha in the middle, you can tell was going to be very red in there. And if you look on the box, I don't know how good that compares to it, but We'll find out, and <laughs> this is still a little, still a little warm, and I'm gonna attempt to break this open. Well, it's still, still hot. Okay, yeah, there we go. So here we go. This is the middle. You can see it's got that kind of sriracha stuff to it, and then it's got the powder on the outside, and I can smell the lime. Lime's real strong in there. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try for you guys out there and see if it's any good. And uh, so you guys won't uh, will know if you won't have to waste your money or <laughs> if you think it's if I think it's really good, then you can go check it out. So here we go. Nice and cool. It's cooled down now. So here we go. Give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. The outside shell is pretty good. It's a little tough, a little chewy, but I think that's because of the microwave. 
maybe if I put it in the oven, it would be crispier. Hmm, that middle's pretty good. Tasting a lot of lime. Real strong amount of lime. That sriracha's kind of kicking in. I'm tasting more of the creamy hummus on the inside. And real strong amount of lime on that. So they did do, when they say sriracha lime, they mean sriracha and lime. So, hmm. And I'm getting a little bit of a burn from that, the outside, like the little sriracha powder or paste or whatever it is. One more time, I'm gonna try the other half, see how it tastes so. Hmm. It's actually not bad. The hummus in the middle is pretty good. The outside shell is just okay. I like this flavor. That sriracha's got a little bit of a burn. And the lime mixes well in there to kind of tame it down. It's not bad. I think I would maybe get that one again if I wanted to get this. But I think these were like $3 and something for each box. So there were three flavors and I only got two of them because I didn't know how well I'd like them. I figured if I liked them, I might go back and try the third flavor. But this isn't bad. It's got a little bit of lingering burn, just not, not a whole lot. It's not super duper hot. So for my rating on the hummus pod, sriracha lime, hummus, hummus pod, I guess that's what they're calling it, handheld hummus treat, okay? So for that one, I'll give it an eight out of 11. It's pretty good. I wish the, the outside would be a little bit more tender um, but maybe because they froze it, it got a little bit, uh, you know, chewy. And when you do things in the microwave, they don't always turn out as well. So that's my take on this one. So if you've got one in the store near you, give it a try if you want something a little bit different. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. And that way you won't miss any future content. You won't miss when I go live and you won't miss any of my fun filled reviews in the future. So till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be reviewing some other new item or new um, interesting thing that I find out there for you guys. I'll talk to you guys later and put these back in the freezer and uh, make sure they're nice and cool. So until next time, talk to you later.